Now, because tables work so well with zaps, workflows, and automation, there's one field type that is super powerful. It's a button that can trigger any automation that you want to create. So let's say we have a table that has a bunch of contacts in it, just like this. If we go over, you can see there's a send email button that I've set up. When I click in here, this is just a field type that you can choose, choose the icon, and then you can choose what it does. You can trigger a zap or you can continue a zap. So maybe there is a, an approval workflow that you have set up, an automation or a workflow will run into a point and then you have to click the button for the automation to finish out. But you can just start a zap as well. So for this example, if I'm sending an email, I can just trigger the zap, I give it a label like send email, and a default state which is enabled and I can actually disable the button and make it unclickable after I've clicked it once. So once you create the button, then you have a zap that is connected. So right here I have a send email from button zap and all this does is trigger when that button is clicked and then it sends an email. So when we look in here, it takes the email address from that record and then the subject and the body and sends it from my email address. So back in the table, you can see I have an email subject and an email body that you can just adjust here, say what you wanna say, and then click send email and it will send it away. What's beautiful about tables is that you're gonna see that there are zaps connected to certain fields. So the dependency is visible, which is really helpful. So you're not gonna make some mistake or, or do something you don't wanna do. Lots of other use cases for this. You can add someone to a CRM. You can trigger an approval workflow. You can send someone through an onboarding process. The list is nearly infinite and is completely customizable.